Okay, listen. Um, I wonder how you how you sum up your feelings after after that match. Um, well, the best side won, so let's have that right. Um, not that that'll be a surprise to you. Um, I think we we started okay, and we have a chance. Um, you know, I, I'm I'm confused about penalties now. I don't know what is a penalty now because people get touched on their shoulder and their legs buckle into penalty, and that gets well, pretty foul pretty harshly. I would say. And it's not a penalty, so I'm, I'm forever confused with that. But I must make it clear, I'm not remotely suggesting that if we get that penalty and score it, that we win the game. But I think it gives you a foothold immediately, very early in the game. Um, other than that, the, the better side showed their, their quality when they had to, uh, clinical when they had to. And that sometimes happens against these sort of sides. But do, you, do you have any um, any complaints, if you like? About, until the second goal, you were, you were in the match. Um, yeah, I mean, that, we, that second goal, you know, the, the header set piece. Goals change games. And they, these sort of sides, if you get their nose, if they get their nose in front, it's difficult. Um, but if they get their nose in front too far, it's incredibly difficult. And first half, they were the better side. We managed to slow it down the last 10 minutes of the first half, changed it tactically, and that had a good effect. Second half, I, I was pleased up until the goal. I thought without um, without creating loads of chances, we'd kind of stemmed the flow of traffic. We'd, we'd made it just a a more even sort of balanced look of the game, um, you know, stop some of their good play and created a few moments ourselves in the right moment, uh, right areas. And then they score the second one and it's very difficult then. You know, we, we've had to open up to try and get something for the game and we get punished for a mistake and the game's gone. You know, once once it gets away from you against these sides, it's very, very difficult. Um, but overall, they're, they're the strongest side. I mean, look, part of you says they should be, by the way, um, with their investment and the quality of players, but... We've competed against these sides before, and we'll have to do it again because we've got to play them all um, this season. Six matches, it's 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 just the one point. How how concerning is that for you? That concern's not going to change anything. You know, being concerned and all that words that people use. What it is is an adjustment to the realities. Um, we've had a heavy injury list. We've got to get them fit. We're we're beginning to, and then we keep losing people, and then we get some fit again, and then we lose people. Um, the shift that we're doing has got to stay. I mean, there's no lack of um, effort. Uh, the mentality has got to stay strong. And we've got to keep working on the training round and keep believing in what we do with the, the experiences we've had. And all of them things come together um, to make sure that we can look after ourselves. But, you know, another game goes. It is against the top opposition, obviously. Um, I was looking for more performance than we got today. I thought we got a very good performance against Tottenham. We were off it slightly today against the top side. And you can't do that. These, these sides hurt you. Is there any any progress with the takeover? Anything you can tell us? I, I know nothing about it. You know more than me. And look, Burnley is already in tier three. We are hearing that uh, the, the the whole country is going into into lockdown. Uh, what are your thoughts about that? I, I, I've got to be honest. I'm more interested in whether we can win the next game. And that's by far more interesting to me. I certainly can't control what's going on with lockdown. Um, I'll play my part, so I'm sure everyone will to the best of their abilities. Listen, cheers. Thanks. All the best to you. Stay well. Thanks, Ian. Chris Borden, please. Hi, uh, Sean. You OK? Hi, Chris. Did the, did the referee say anything about the challenge on Barnes from the goalkeeper? Or... No, I thought um, I'd try and attempt to stay away from referees. I thought he was off today um, on a number of things. Um, but I, I honestly, uh, the penalty thing now in the Premier League is just... I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Well, what is and what isn't? Um, I don't know how that's not a penalty. Um, I don't know because if he the reason is actually I'll give you an explanation now. I don't get it. If he just toes it past him and the, and the keeper does that, then it's a penalty. So I can only presuppose the chair, the the referee sorry thought that he'd lifted it too far and therefore he couldn't get it and therefore it's not a penalty. You go this a foul. And the other the other obvious thing if that's in the middle of the pitch. What do you think happens? It's a foul, 100%. I'm confused about the penalty situation. I've talked to the powers that be about it. They assure me that we get treated the same as everyone else. If you look at the stats, it's an impossible fact that we get treated the same as everyone else. I see. In hindsight, it's a great thing, but would you have started in that sort of 4 2 3 one on another day, maybe? Yeah, I mean, you don't know because we, we didn't get a grip of it first half after the penalty. And by the way, just to be clear, I'm not remotely saying we win the game because we, we get a better at scoring. That's, mm. um, but, it, but you still want it. Um, no, we, we changed it at the end of the first half and it had an effect. And, we, and then I wanted to, you know, I wanted to ex explore this idea of could we get our three centre forwards or three out of four centre forwards on the pitch. 
Um, and I thought until the second goal, it had an effect. I thought it was a positive effect. I thought without making loads of chance, we looked, we just looked stronger and we looked like we could we could affect them a little bit more while still keeping a good shot when they get the ball. Um, and the second goal kills us. Uh, you know, it's, it's, we, we've got a strong record of that. So two in two weeks is not pleasing. Um, there's a bit of luck involved. Woody just touches it and actually hits the lad in the head. She just gets a tiny touch. But that being said, um, we've got to do better with that. And then after that, it's really tough then. These, these sides are, you know, the, the investment levels they put in, the quality they have, the, the base that they work from. It's very tough when they're two below. It's very tough anyway, but certainly when they're um, one, two, one, or two up. You said Johan was touch and go. I mean, how, how close was he in the end? Yeah, he's got a minor calf again. We've got to be careful with him. Eric Peters, you know, wasn't close in the end. Uh, Ben's making progress. We've not quite there. Cook has still got a bit of a way to go. You know, these are still very good players that we're missing. Um, we're just, we're working the best we can. We're working with the players to get their fitness level, um, you know, the right, uh, the right level, sorry. Um, that will help, of course, other than players. No guarantees. Doesn't mean you automatically win games. We've still got to give everything to win a game at this level. Um, but, it, but it is helpful if you get all them players back fit. Cheers, Sean. Cheers, mate. Hi, James. Sean, you spoke after um, the, the game against Spurs on, on Monday about the strikers uh, and they were getting in the right positions. It's it's three games at home now without a goal. I don't think there was a shot on target today. Are you still of the same opinion that those two, Chris and, and, and Barnsley, will get the goals for you going forward? None of the same opinion of doing the right things often enough. And then if you do the right things often enough, you will score goals and you will create chances or you will create chances then score goals. Um, you know, you've, got to, you've got to put in balance the realities. The realities today, we're playing a top side who's spent an enormous amount of money. Usually, not always, usually when that starts to form and come together, it's a very difficult task at both ends of the pitch, and it certainly was today. So there's a reality to that. Um, as regards to centre-forwards, their record suggests they will score goals. Our record as a team suggests we will create the right chances for them to score goals. Um, and that's the, the belief pattern that I, I think is important. Is confidence in the group still obviously going to be disappointed with the results and, and the way the season started, but you're confident that the, the morale and the confidence within the players will, will help going forward? No, there's no guarantees to that. We work hard at that side of things. Um, we want the players to be confident. Confidence is a tricky thing. It's a state of mind as much as anything. Um, you know, the, the realities are that, that we're in a tough situation. We never shy away from the truth. Um, it's a challenge. Uh, all things that, that are going around the club are a challenge at the moment. Our job is to stay focused on performances, and we tried to stay focused today, but they were a very good side, and we weren't where we need to be against these sides, and they certainly were. And just lastly, right next week, and then I think Crystal Palace after the international break, how big are those two games now, given that they're the sort of sides? Every game in the Premier League is big. You can't define a season on a number of games. It's a season's work, I say all the time. Well, certainly for te uh, teams like us, it's a season's work. Every game is vitally important. Today, we went into it believing we could win, we didn't get that win against a very good side. Next week, we'll go and believe it. We can win that one. We'll see what happens. Thanks, Sean. Creativity seemed to be an issue today, Sean. Are you getting, I was just thinking, getting enough for you to Dwight McNeil, or is it just as a bigger problem than that? I didn't hear all of it, but I think you talk about creativity. I mean, you're still looking at different ways of operating to try and win a game. Um, so, you know, it's unlikely that we're going to uh, help through the teams of this calibre and create loads of goals anyway. Um, if you look at the statistics of our seasons in the Premier League against the sides, um, it suggests that it's very difficult. Um, we didn't mix our play, sorry, we did mix our play at times to be effective, but I thought it was more so effective against Tottenham. I think we have chances at Tottenham on the night. Um, generally speaking, we have made chances this season. You've got to take them. But they certainly did today because then teams do. The top side, um, make no mistake, I went into the game thinking that with some top individual players and they showed that today. We've got to stick to what we do. We've got to find other ways that we can possibly operate. We looked at a different way of operating today. We worked somewhat without finding the moments that we really need to. But you have to factor in playing against the top side. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Nobody else? If not, we'll move on to a little embargo of Monday piece. Rory, Rory's oh, Rory got his arm. Rory, go for it. Uh, hi, thanks, John. Hi, just, hi. just a quick one on, on Ben Mee, really. If you're looking for a bit of a something to, to lift the team, getting him back as a leader, how important is that? I think all of our players are important. I think Ben, play, ben plays a fantastic part of the group. Um, he has done for many seasons here. Um, but we need him right and, and fit. Not, I've never been one to throw them when they're not ready or they're not right. 
he's been out a long time now. And good times we've had there. He's had 65 minutes of a game so far. And four games we called off, we, we think, next week. Uh, a couple of the other lads had COVID, so we've had to lock them down. Um, so we as fit as we can, as quick as we can, because uh, he's a very good player for us. Okay, Rory. 